Hey everybody, welcome back to our family pantry. Today, we're gonna show you how to make our Mississippi pot roast. So with Mississippi pot roast, today I've got a beef rump roast, and then we just get our meat from a rancher, and so we buy uh, beef by the half cow and freeze it. And so we've got this meat that's ready to go. Um, we're just gonna defrost it. Now go ahead and finesse that like button. And if it's your first time here, hit subscribe. We're gonna heat up the pan on high heat and we're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of some vegetable oil. Yeah, any neutral high heat oil will do. And we forgot to mention that this pot roast of ours is about three pounds or 1500 grams. And we just use some seasoning salt and pepper and we just make sure we rub that in on all sides. Yep, you just want to pat it in. You don't need to truly rub it in, it's pat it in and the, the, the seasonings will just seep right in there. Yep, and we do that so then the hot pan can sear the meat and lock in all those juices for the crock pot. Yep, and you, you want to make sure that you get every bit of the roast. You want to make sure you're seasoning all over. Don't miss a spot at all. Now we're ready to get it in the pan. So we just start on one side and you're gonna cook it on that one side for four to five minutes. So you just leave it be and let it do its thing. You can even set a timer if you need to. Yep. And then this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty, it smells good. And it, when, you're, when you're searing it, it just locks in all the juices and so if you're getting all sides, you're locking in all the juices for this roast. And this is our last side. We're just ready to transfer it into our crock pot. Slow cooker crock pot, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll get our ingredients to go along with it. We've got four tablespoons of butter that I like to just put on the top. And then we get some banana peppers. And we like this. We've got some little kids and they're not quite up to the spice level we are. And so I put in the banana peppers in, but you can always substitute this for the pepperoncini peppers. And those have a little bit more zing. I like to drain mine off just because the natural, you know, way of crock pot cooking is that it just retains all of the liquid. And so it kind of waters things down sometimes. And so I make sure and drain that off. And then you just place them there on top. And then we'll get ready to make our little sauce to go on top. And we start this sauce off with just some regular mayonnaise and it's gonna be four tablespoons. I've never tried it with Miracle Whip, so I can't give you any guarantees. We just use regular, good old fashioned, real mayonnaise. We want you guys to enjoy this video, so the, there's gonna be the ingredients down below in the description box. And then we'll take some apple cider vinegar, and we use one tablespoon. And then we'll get our seasonings, actually two tablespoons. And then we get our seasonings going, and this is just dried dill weed, and there's a teaspoon of that. Then we got a teaspoon of paprika, Yep, just use the regular paprika. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a, a, a teaspoon of garlic in it. Yep, and that's just garlic powder, or granulated garlic. And then to finish it off, we've got two more things. We've got some powdered onion or granulated onion, and that's a teaspoon of that. And then the last ingredient is a half a teaspoon of ground mustard. And that just kind of helps bring some more tang to the party with the vinegar. And that's it for our sauce. And you're just gonna wanna mix that in, and get that all blended. Just blend it until it gets nice and silky smooth. Yep, it'll help with everything and all the flavors blending. Now we're just gonna finish it off. We're gonna go ahead and pour it right on top of the, of the roast and the peppers. And then we wanna make sure we turn the slow cooker to low. 
and put a lid on it. I'll show what it all looks like. But once we put the lid on for the final time, we just want to keep it on for that. We're going to cook it for about six to seven hours. And then I've got something kind of special that I do with mine. Now this one is at about seven hours, six and a half hours. I like to shred mine because it makes sure that the the whole roast, all of the inside meat and everything gets all nice and seasoned up by that gravy. Yep, and it's gonna all taste the same throughout. Yes. You, know, you get the same flavor throughout the whole, in every single bite. Exactly, and so it's not ready to be done yet. You could eat it if you had to, but not the way we enjoy it. And so we like to just shred it up some, and then we're gonna add some cornstarch. And when I add cornstarch, it's just to thicken up that gravy, just to make it you know, less watery. And I just take some cornstarch, and I use about a tablespoon of cornstarch to two tablespoons of water, and it's cold water. And you just mix that up and make a slurry, and then pour it on top. And just mix it right all around. And it's gonna just thicken up the the gravy just a little bit, not not too much, but enough where it's enjoyable. You can put it on top of rice, whatever. Yeah, and so with this, the crock pot is still on, and so it's gonna take that last hour to let it to thicken up that gravy. Okay, this is eight hours now, and so you'll be able to see that this pulls apart really easily. And so, but I like that last, you know, hour or so to be um, with all of the juices. So it brings up as much flavor as possible. So we'll plate it up and we'll show you um, how we serve it. Now you're welcome to just put it on low and cook it for eight hours and then mix it in at the end. But this is how we do it. And this is our crock pot or slow cooker Mississippi pot roast. And we've got roasted potatoes and broccoli to serve with it today. And you can have it with anything else, but this is how we're having it today. And thank you for coming to our family pantry, and we hope you enjoy your day. Take care now. See you next time.